Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I was just gonna show you some of my dry pieces and after I'd resined a few pieces also. So that's all this video is gonna be and then I plan on doing something later this evening. But anyway, I can't believe how gorgeous this gourd turned out. Look at that. It's all resin. And all I did was just stick some of those kebab sticks in the holes and I put it in some the foam and then rubbed resin all over it. So I ain't so done. I didn't get any in the inside either. I didn't miss any spots. So isn't that cool? So I can't wait to hang this outside, but I do want to wait for this to completely cure, you know, the resin because it's been hot lately. It's like 116 degrees with the sun beating on that and it's not completely hardened all the way through would not be a good thing. So I'm going to wait at least two weeks till I hang it outside. Isn't that pretty? And <laughs> my paint job. Anyway, I thought I'd show it to you guys. I wanted to see it when I was done. <laughs> this is very pretty. Very cool. So I'm loving that. Now, uh, Oh, my candle holder. I ended up doing another one because I wanted to have a set because it turned out so pretty. So let me see, this was the one we did because I know because of that line and I put resin on it. But I'll go ahead and put some tea candles on it, in it and we'll look at it. Pretty, beautiful. Just gorgeous. And then here's the other one I did. Same way. Just to have two of them. Because I loved them so much. Hi, Kiki. Sophie. The gold really shimmers beautiful. So nice, the ends are nice. You can just wipe them good as they drip. And let's see. Okay, so I found these little resin molds. It's like, you know, they hold even the glitters or you could put your little pills in or something for your purse. And it tightens really good too. I was surprised because some of the reviews said that it didn't tighten. But look at that. I made that out of a resin mold. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I like it. I'm going to make some more. Oh, I made this little tiny heart. I had some left over, so I went ahead and made that. Pretty. And then my purple heart that I made with the dried flowers. I tried to fill in those, those little gaps that were in there. It's smooth, except right here you could feel just a little indent. But other than that, it did fill in those spots. It don't look like it, but they're in there. It's it's solid S surface there. I just sure wish those bubbles weren't there, but other than that, it's pretty. I still have to take the contact paper off the back though. But there's that one I promised to show you. And this one I'm planning on making a clock out of because it's big. It's about a nine inch big round P 
piece and I'm gonna drill a hole and put some movements in there. That's alcohol ink. Actually, I'm gonna do a video of this and so you all can see. Oh, that's just stuff I've been doing. A lot of covering things. Okay, so, you know what? I may have to put this stuff down here. Move it. Hold on. Okay. So this one dried really awesome. You know, I love this painting. <laughs> so much. It has so much to look at. Isn't that cool? So it dried real good. And then these are not glossed yet, but I just thought I'd show them to you how they dried pretty. Very nice. this one and this one I'm really loving because it does that shimmer stuff when you go like this that gold in there and all the metallics just kind of shifts with it it's so pretty and there's that one dry completely and I think that's it. <laughs> ah, I did forget that I covered this one with one extra coat. It's so pretty. So I'm going to be taking that off. Really easy to get off the contact paper. It's so pretty though. Because this has some markings on it from the mold. And I hate that when that happens. So, And then this one, I accidentally forgot. And I these are resin flowers, okay? They're dipped in resin, nice and hard. I dried them upside down. But uh, I added Pro Marine instead of... Well, I think it probably would have done it with my premium quality resin too see uh it was too thick and you can't have too thick so i should have done layers and i didn't and i actually only poured it up to here and because it was too thick here it expanded upward <laughs> but it's still cool well, it looks like little bubbles in there it does look like water but it did some crazy expanding. <laughs> but yeah, I should have thought about that. I thought, well, it's not that. It was, I figured about two inches. It's a little over probably. So anyway, that's done. I like that. This one here, it's not gonna fit in the camera, but it dried real pretty. Well, it's not gonna fit up. Lift up my camera. Don't think I showed this one dry yet. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. So there's that one. Real pretty. And I don't think I showed this one dry. Dried real good too. Really awesome. Love it. All right, so let's take a look at those candles with those candle holders with the candles in it. Okay, so 
Like I said, they don't really shine through a whole bunch. Oh, and I have my light on, so. Well, let me turn this light off. Hey. <laughs> I might as well show you while we're here. So this is my little shelf where I have all my little, this is the cute little houses, you know? Those wooden houses, I guess, that I need to dust. But, ah, oh, and that light. This is where I hung Janice's that she made for me. It says believe in there. One she embellished on, I love it so much. And I thought that would be kind of cute on this side. I tried putting them up there, but it looked funny. They were too high. So I put mine over here. And it's pretty, looks good together. So now that lamp is blaring. And my wall I have covered with all the little stucco because I had shelves there, so I need to repaint that wall, but I just thought I'd show you. As blinding as that is. <laughs> Okay, and oh, they're pretty. Well, let me turn off my camera light. So, see, they really don't do much of anything to the paint itself, but uh, Roy Smith told me that if you use color shift and I seen his and they glow. So if you use color shift, uh, it'll work. All right, let me turn the light on. And then I'll show you my flowers I bought. Okay, so I went to Fry's. I get some groceries. They have these, the summer deal on the roses for $6. So I'm gonna enjoy doing something with these, drying them in the silica gel. Aren't they pretty? white red and pink so pretty <laughs> so that's pretty oh uh, i have some other ones drying too let's see these were from my last set and they're real colorful so I just hang them upside down see like that put some tape there They're completely dry. Of course, the daisies folded up, but these are nice and pretty, purple, pink. So I'll be dipping those too. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay. So you want to talk about a mess? Look at this. <laughs> I seriously have to clean. <laughs> yeah, that's what I put the kebabs, I mean, the um, gourd on so it would stand up. Yeah, I've got quite a mess in here. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Just wanted to get caught up on showing all my unfinished products. Told you guys I'd show them to you. <laughs> um, if I'm forgetting anything because I do that quite often. Let me know if you want to see it. So uh, everybody continue to stay safe, stay well, and stay positive. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.